Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Jodie Flavel and I am the artist and owner of Decorous Vintage Designs and I like to show you guys furniture tutorials. So what I have behind me and what I will be showing you today is how to get this really cool and funky abstract piece. So it's an MCM piece which stands for Mid-Century Modern and it's my, believe it or not, it's my first ever MCM piece. So we've got this really cool monochrome look here and then we've got this really big cool splash of colour just con totally contrasting this piece hence the reason why I decided to name this piece Technical Life. so stay tuned guys and I'm going to show you how to get this look I have decided to use Boss by Dixie Belle and I just put one layer of this on and this stops bleed through, odour, get a layer on there much easier to get full coverage if you use Dixie Belle's Boss the drawers are out you can paint with the drawers in if you want. I would be painting with the drawers in if it wasn't for the fact that um, I was just waiting for these to dry and they have been such a nightmare. That one now and I'm wondering if it's actually a bit wonky so <laughs> at the moment and I'm just going to get this base on and I'm going to wait until they're fully dry. Um, Alright guys, so I'm going to start here with my Hurricane Grey and I've got my mini brush by Dixie Bell. I've already got one layer of Boss Primer in white and when I applied that I wasn't too worried about brush strokes, I just got it on there, got it in the grain and made sure that it was covering the wood completely. Now that I'm putting on my Hurricane Grey I am a little bit more conscious about brush strokes but not massively conscious at this point because there is going to be another layer on top but I am following the grain of the wood as I brush. I'm also not using water at this point because I want a nice thick coverage of the grey on the drawer. I also just want to point out that I haven't taken out the pulls. I don't want the pulls to look any different on this piece because I want them to look like part of the artwork. I just wanted to show you guys here that you can paint with the drawers in or out and you can see here it's not making a massive difference. It's really just down to personal preference and what is more suitable at that time for you. Dixie Belle paint is self leveling and you'll find that there are minimal brush strokes if you follow what I'm doing here. Okay so next up we have our Hurricane Grey again. the camera. I can never see actually where the camera is on. We've got Silver Bullet, which is one of Dixie Bell's Moonshine Metallics, Gravel Road, and also Driftwood. All right, so I've mixed my Hurricane Grey with the Moonshine Metallic Silver Bullet, and I have done about a 50-50 mixture. And if you just think back to old monochrome movies and pictures and things like that, there always seems to be this kind of very silver, kind of layer and film over them and that's the kind of look that I'm wanting to what I'm putting in the middle is the driftwood and around the edges you will see in a moment that I am putting gravel road I am using different brushes for each paint some people like to use the same brush but personally I like to use different brushes because I just feel then that you are not over blending the colors there is such a thing as over blending and it's not something you want to do because you will lose all of those colors so going back to the colours, we are using the Hurricane Grey and Silver Bullet as our main base colour. The Driftwood is used in the middle to highlight and I am going to be using Gravel Road here with my medium round brush and I'm going to use that around the edges and this is going to create depth and it's also going to create that kind of vignette look that you also see on old movies and photos. So while I am using different brushes for each colour, what I do like to do um, is I like to get my uh, medium oval brush and I like to just use that to blend it all together. So this is a clean brush that I'm using so it's got no colour on it and I am just using that all over just to make sure that all the edges are smoothing out without altering the colour too much. The beauty of Dixie Belle paint is that it's so perfect for blending. Um, it is by far the easiest paint I have used for blending. And all you need to do is get your water mister, give it a little spray, not too much, and that will keep the paint moving. If you feel like the paint is starting to dry, and you will know this because the paint will start moving as 
by, by moving it, I mean it will start scraping off as you paint. Then just give it a little mist of water and it will reactivate it and you can start blending. Okay, so what we've got here now is we're going to throw some fun, fun, fun colour into this. I don't know why I said it like that, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so I've got my cobalt blue. I am just grabbing random brushes here. I don't have a huge brush collection, so I'm improvising, but this piece is going to be totally abstract. It's gonna to be totally fun and unique, so you can improvise as much as you like. Next up is Peony, which is a really bright, fun pink. Uh, what you will notice about the brushes though is that they all tend to have a bit of a round edge, and that's just because I'm going to be splattering and spraying paint onto this. I'm also using my water mister to give it a bit of a mist before I start painting. You can just dip it in water. I just generally feel like by using my water mister that I have a little bit of more control. By applying water to the brush and the paint, what we're doing is we're thinning the paint and it's just not going to look too thick and blotchy in certain areas. It is also allowing me to speckle the paint. So by that, what I mean is, and you can see it, is that I'm just grabbing my finger and I'm just splashing and I'm splashing the paint everywhere. Next up is Florida Orange, and again I've got another brush and I'm just tapping this in around the edges of the other colours and again splattering it. So it's kind of difficult a little bit to explain what I'm doing here. I can tell you what I'm doing and you can see what I'm doing and you can see the colours I'm using, all of which are listed below by the way as well. However, this really is just a free flowing work of art. You can literally do what you want to this. So you can copy me if you want or you can grab your own colours and splash them and dab them in any way that you want and it will just create fun abstract art. You really can't go wrong with it. Um, as long as you are choosing colours that work well together, as you can see here, I'm, I'm using a lot of colours that centre around the blue and purple kind of scheme. So we've got pink that can blend into blue, we've got orange that works well with blue. Um, so as long as you're using colours that work, unless you want to create contrast and you can use colours that are very on the opposite ends of the colour wheel, you really can't go wrong. So I'm trying different techniques as well. So we do have the dab in and I've got the splatter in and what you are going to see here is that I grab my water mister and I'm also just going to give it a little bit of a spray. So we're going to get some drips on there too and to stop the paint blaring too much what I'm doing is I'm just going over with my brush and adding more paint into there. You can also see that I'm layering the paint so we've got colours on colours and we've got splatters on splatters and drips on drips. <laughs> so it is really as I say just a very intuitive fun look and I would just encourage you all just to get really experimental with this. Now this brush I'm using is actually an artist brush and it's one of my favourite brushes to use and it's called a mop brush and this is really good for getting speckled texture and they're just so fun to use and you can see here now it's just creating lots of different kind of texture and effects to this piece. You can also use the same brush if you want, um, but the colours will eventually start to get muddy and you will lose the colours. But if you have one brush that you really love, then you could use the same brush and just keep washing it. It takes a little bit of time, but as long as you um, are happy with that and happy to put in that time, then that is something that you can do as well. Art is all about improvisation, guys, in a lot of ways, and it's all about experimenting and pushing boundaries and thinking outside the box and just trying things that you might not normally try. This piece is really coming to life now. Um, what I did not film, and it was a total accident because it just didn't record properly, the file unfortunately was corrupt when I got to it, was the big splash that I did across the middle. And just to let you guys know that how I got that splash was just getting a big rounded bristled brush and I put on plenty of water and paint and I just went crazy. When I first started this piece, um, you can probably see the difference as well. I was very careful about where I was applying the colour in the end, I just thought it was the case of go big or go home. So I just went for it and I just started applying a colour everywhere and, I didn't, and I just really got in the zone and didn't think too much about it. And then this beautiful abstract and funky cool looking piece of art started appearing on my drawers. Do you guys have a favourite artist or a favourite art style? Um, if you do, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear of different artists. I'm always looking for new inspiration, so if you know any cool artists or art styles that you think would be great to look into, then please let me know in the comments. 
At this point I am just adding different colours and taking them away and adding a little bit more, grabbing this brush, doing this technique and it's really hard to explain the hows and whys I was doing it. Um, again it was just kind of intuitive and it was just something that I tried really not to overthink. It's probably something that I can never replicate perfectly again because it is a unique piece of artwork. However, by all means, it's something that you can do and you can give a go and you will create a unique piece of artwork of your own as well. Okay, next up is Dixie Belle's top coat in flat and I am just going to put a couple of layers of this over the top of the piece and it's just going to make sure that it is completely protected. I'm using top coat instead of wax because I just want to make sure that this piece is totally protected when it is in somebody's home. I just want to say to you guys thank you so much for watching and I hope you learnt something new today. Don't forget to send me your photos if you do try this look because I do love to see them. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this a like and comment if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more. Thank you guys.